To praying scripture. This type of meditation prayer is for the purpose of entering the biblical story through our imagination and then spending time with Jesus and allowing our imagination to be where he meets us and speaks with us. Today's reading is from Matthew 12, 15 to 23. Aware of this, Jesus withdrew from that place. A large crowd followed him, and he healed all who were ill. He warned them not to tell others about him. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I have chosen, the one I love, in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not quarrel or cry out. No one will hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out, till he has brought justice to victory, through to victory. In his name the nations will put their hope. Then they brought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, and Jesus healed him so that he could both talk and see. All the people were astonished and said, Could this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, It is only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. So now, let us turn back the clock to a time where people walked everywhere. Only the wealthy had horses and donkeys. You live in a town called Capernaum, where fishermen have a business on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. And those who mine basalt stone also have a business selling grinding wheels. Jesus lives there with some friends. However, he travels throughout villages and towns in Galilee, teaching and preaching. You began following Jesus one day after you heard him preach on the side of a hill. You have been following him for some time, and on this particular day, he had healed a man with a deformed hand, and it was the Sabbath.
he had bested the Pharisees with his questions before the healing, so they dared do nothing when he healed on the Sabbath. Now someone came up to him and warned him that the Pharisees were plotting to kill him as a result of that Sabbath. So Jesus left that city. You and many others followed Jesus despite the threat. Anyone Jesus met, he touched. Some who were sick and needed healing, he healed. Some had kind of mental help needed as well, but he touched and healed them too. Every time he healed someone, he warned them not to tell others about Jesus. Everything he did reminded you of what the prophet Isaiah had said. Look well at my hand-picked servant. I love him so much. Take such delight in him. I've placed my spirit on him. He'll decree justice to the nations, but he won't yell, won't raise his voice. There'll be no commotion in the streets. He won't walk over anyone's feelings, won't push you into a corner. Before you know it, his justice will triumph. The mere sound of his name will signal hope, even among far-off believers. As you reflect upon this passage of scripture from Isaiah and watch Jesus, you can't help but feel he must be the Messiah, the Son of God. In one of the villages you came to, there was a man who couldn't see and also couldn't talk. The villagers believed he had a demon. Jesus touched him, and then he could talk and see. Even the villagers started to think like you did. Could this possibly be the Messiah, the son of David? There were Pharisees there as well, and you happen to be standing close enough to them to hear them talking. He can get rid of demons because he has the power of Satan himself. You are disturbed by this and decide it is time to discuss it with Jesus. You find a chance to pull him aside and ask him about his powers of healing. You can ask him about healing you. And this is the time now where we are silent for about five minutes. Listen to what Jesus is trying to tell you. And then I will close in prayer.
thank you that we can enter a time by using our imagination, which is just a gift that you have given us, a way to see at times into the spiritual world, a way to talk to us. Bless each person who hears this. In Jesus' precious name.